Nigeria's climate has in the past few years been affected by significant changes with extreme weather conditions resulting in ocean surges and flooding in many parts of the country. The National Emergency Management this workshop organized by the Nigerian Conservation Foundation is aimed at providing relevant government agencies and other key players with needed information to tackle this menace. Floods, droughts and other natural hazards have caused massive loss of lives and livelihoods. On average, there have been 218 million people affected and 26 million people displaced. This figure was stated by the World World Humanitarian Summit. This alarming rate of loss of lives and property by Nigerians have raised the question of how governments at different levels spend the billions allocated yearly for infrastructural development and disaster management. We've got to continue holding governments to account and us as national NGOs but also our partners and colleagues who are uh, community-based organizations or state-level NGOs have to constantly keep the feet of governments to the fire to make sure that they are accountable to the rest of society and they do what needs to be done and spend monies in the way they should be spent. And Nigeria is not a poor country, it's a very resourceful country, it's not oil and the gas is the only source of resources but human uh, being are and with the uh, manpower that will be able to actually find a solution locally. So Nigeria has got all the potential to be one of the leaders of this climate change, positive climate change. You see, that is also what disaster risk reduction is all about. Build the resilience of people, build resilient structures, and this will help such that effects of disasters will be highly minimized. It is expected that workshops like this will help draw the attention of government and their partners to the plight of the people affected by natural disaster in Nigeria. Fatima Abagana, AIT News, Abuja.